I've released many videos discussing the effect of a particular gene that is predominantly found in the liver and its role in caffeine metabolism. Now, in terms of caffeine metabolism, you may not care, but we also discussed some of the health implications of mutations to that gene. Some people carry the fast caffeine metabolizing version of the gene, while others carry the slower metabolizing version of the gene. The speed at which we metabolize caffeine affects our performance during competition, but even more importantly, it could also affect certain health markers, like blood pressure. Based on the data, having fast metabolizing version of the gene lends itself to better performance, as well as reduce risk of increased blood pressure and possibly other health metrics. Meanwhile, a slower metabolizing version does the opposite. So, which one are you? To find out, there are a few ways of establishing it. The first and most obvious is to get a genetic test done that gives you all of the information on your genetic makeup, how similar or dissimilar to the standard gene profile. However, even getting the test doesn't guarantee it'll show up automatically or be highlighted, so you may want to do a bit of digging in the raw data that they should supply you with. So, how do you do that? You'll need to type in the name of the gene, which is CYP1A2, and the location on the gene, made up of many letters known as nucleotides, is on chromosome 15, location 74749576. The mutation or variant, which is synonymous, is called RS762551. That location will show either an AA or an AC or a CC. The AA variant is the fast metabolizing variant associated with mostly positive health effects and improved performance. The AC is a middle ground and the CC is the dubious one, the slow metabolizing gene. This is the absolute clearest indication of what you have. But let's assume you don't want to get a genetic test for a direct answer. In that case, there are some proxy tests that you can do indirectly that will tell you. Caffeine is metabolized on average in about five hours. At least half of the caffeine you consume is gone by the five hour mark. Yet, some people can eliminate it in as little as two hours, and other people have it drag on for 10 or more hours. So, if you consume a standard amount of caffeine, let's say one cup of coffee, and you feel sleepy two to three hours later, then you're probably a fast metabolizer. If you feel pretty alert until five or six hours, then you're in the normal category. And if you have trouble falling asleep or you still feel amped up nine hours later, you'll likely be a slow metabolizer. Here's the critical point though. You would need to do this every day for a week or so because no matter the type of metabolizer, your liver adapts by increasing the production of more of this caffeine metabolizing enzyme. If you still feel relatively the same after one week, the results point to those that I just mentioned. But clearly, this is just an estimation. <laughs> there are factors that can throw off these results, like how long you've been consuming caffeine, how much you consume on a daily relative to this test, uh, smoking habits, and more. Obviously, the first test is the best. It's a direct evidence, but the second test can give you a ballpark indication, in which case I'd recommend that you check out some of my series on the implications of a slow or fast caffeine metabolism. Like I said, it could affect your health. Until then, bye.